Hey there, YouTubers. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today, I want to feature uh, something I'm very proud of. A friend of mine, Kevin Carter, uh, has written, and he actually <laughs> he wrote this sucker back in December, but um, and I kept accidentally blowing him off and just not being able to to get with him on this program. So I had it in my inbox for a long time. I am so sorry to say, but. Well, I am proud to present this, and um, Kevin, I'm sorry if I don't do it justice. Anyway, without further ado, Kevin's program, the tournament director. He is a golf tournament, um, I don't know if he's an instructor. I know he works at a golf institution anyway. He has a, has tournaments that he uses this program for. So let's, uh, let's hop to it. We'll just take a look at everything, but the main thing that I think is extremely cool is the list manager. I'm sure the other things are cool, but I don't exactly understand how they work. So if you go to the defaults, you can kind of uh, pin up whatever your default is for the next up and coming uh, tournament. Um, you can make whatever edits and changes that you make, you can click on update defaults and it'll go to a, a, a worksheet that's hidden right now, of course, and it will stay there so that it can repopulate this user form whenever you pull it back up. He's got drop down menus, he's got um, different times, and I like the use, Kevin, of different spin buttons. You've got a spin button that will take you up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, it'll go up a day, but it'll also, I imagine, um, if you click this this over, this right arrow, what does that do? I think that takes you, doesn't that take you a week? Yeah, it takes you one week forward. And I don't know if you got that idea from me, but I, I have used this before. But if not, then great minds stink alike, eh? Anyway, so go a week forward, go a week backwards, click on the today button, and it pops in today's date. Oh, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. I really want to show you that date picker, but I'll, we'll go back to that in just a moment. So he has created a custom date picker, which I think is amazing. We'll probably do another video featuring that, um, just talking about how he did that. It's amazing. It's wonderful. We had to all be using that. So the number of players, you can go up and down, tea time, or shotgun start time. Yeah, this is either 1 or 10, so whatever you hit the spin button, it's either going to be 1 or 10. So, very cool. Um, the shotgun start time, same thing, it increments in 10 minutes, or you can change that, and it'll go up or down 10 minutes. And this will change it 1 hour forward or 1 hour backwards. And uh, I guess it's a lot of them start at noon, so he's even got a button that says noon, basically 12 p.m., boom. And it'll change it right back to noon, boom. So, and you can update the defaults or you can cancel any changes. I will cancel at this time. Uh, list Manager is also extremely cool, so let's take a look at that. You can choose what list that you want to look at, the flight list. If you click on club name, you can see which clubs there are. Whole event. Uh, whole event add rule. I don't really understand golf that well, but I wish I did, so... All event open to men only, open to all women only, uh, gift card event. Here's all the different gift card events. So um, I guess you can add a list item like this. Uh, being awesome. That's horrible. Not even creative. I'm going to hit OK. And just Oh, hey, look at there. It's added to our list. Very cool. So I imagine that adds it to the worksheet, and then he refreshes the list the the row source or this fill range or whatever uh, or he um, just does it one at a time using the dot add item uh, either way this is fantastic uh, oh double clicking double clicking yeah I was wondering if he if he has a double click event so I double click on third place and it's as if I clicked uh, the modify button modify list item same thing double click triggers that button I guess uh, and so if I edited third place and I made it third plaque and I hit OK, uh, it would save that. So I'm going to change it back. I don't want to screw this up. Uh, you can delete the list item. I really don't feel like, I, I guess I could do that with being awesome. That's not a legitimate item. So delete list item. OK, it's gone. That was pretty easy. Very easy to use. I love this, Kevin. Uh, so you can click your update list or revert changes. I'm just going to say done. Then there's all these other ones, and the rest of them kind of just lead to different worksheets, but it, it's cool, though. Click on Defaults. It unhides or makes the dot visible property of this particular sheet equal to true, so that it is is visible, and then it dot selects, uh, selects the uh, sheet. 
so here's what we're looking at and these are all uh, if you want to make these type of buttons they're gorgeous he did a great job but you go to insert and you go to shapes and then you just use one of these oval shapes and you fill it with some kind of gradient but he's got them all looking very similar lined up really well just very easy on the eyes it's just really neat looking I like the color scheme so you can click on go to sheet and it kinda has a little sheet directory here how about the gift card list worksheet yeah so and then this updates some user form I believe um, uh, let's see you go to sheet let's go to enter defaults I think we've seen this one so this is what happens this this the defaults thing that we did earlier the defaults dialog it actually feeds into and reads from this worksheet in these different fields so absolutely wonderful contestants here's different contestants uh, we can go to the gift let's see where did the gift card course information no idea what all that means but I love it so um, just love it what else what else index what if so there's some kind of drop down here um, that it'll does some kind of look up here and some rounding so alright uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you my favorite one is let's go back to the home screen here okay that you go to no not list manager list manager is awesome but go to the defaults dialog this is his latest revision um right before christmas he sent this one to me and it's just been sitting and rotting in my inbox i'm sorry to say i'm embarrassed to say but uh this is so cool kevin has created his own i don't know if he did this all independently on its own but uh or if he got an idea offline but i've looked a long time for somebody to basically foot all the work so i don't have to redesign it i know i could have done this but i love how he did it it's absolutely wonderful so it's a date picker but it's uh it's based off of a user form instead of using the default uh, date picker I say default, but you have to you have to finagle the settings and do all this extra crap. But if you use the the, the date picker the way that he created it, using a standard user form, just a basic user form, you don't have to have any ad added modules or when uh, Microsoft add-ins or anything like that. You can just people can just open it up and it'll just work if they own a copy of Excel. So without further ado, I'm going to click on anywhere on this date field. So boom, look at this. This is the date picker that Kevin has either tweaked or created. I think he made it himself, honestly. Um, so he's got spin buttons for the month. You go up to May or April. Uh, looks like any of these. These looks like they're just standard command buttons. I'm fairly certain they are. And then he just makes the ones that are not in this in the current month invisible, which is oh awesome love it he also has a drop down for the month if you prefer a drop down so January 2014 let's look at last year 2013 boom so as soon as you click on this uh, it must do some kind of loop you know is is um, this one it, I don't want to get into that but I love it so let's select uh, today's date oh click on today so today is uh, March the 7th and so, okay, so I'm going to click on the button that says 7, March 7, 2014, boom. And it pops the date in there. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. March 20th, boom. Let's go to 2017, and let's go to May. May 19th, 2017, boom. Just that easy. How easy is that? It's awesome. So, anyway, oop. 7th. So it's extremely intuitive. I think that's probably my favorite part of this workbook is the date picker. So Kevin, I have to apologize to you for not a look, being able to look at this thing and, and doing you justice thus far, but great job. I'm very impressed, uh, and I hope everybody clicks a big fat like and leaves him some really positive comments to Kevin Carter for doing such a darn good job. Um, and I hope he'll share that with us. Uh, I really think he will. Uh, wink, wink, hint, hint. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully he'll share that with us. And if so, if he gives me permission, I'll I'll shove this in the Dropbox and give you all a link in the video description of where to find this workbook. You can download it or some kind of dumbed down version of it or something. At minimum, we need to we need to share this date picker with the world. It is fantastic. 
Alright, so this is Kevin Carter's Tournament Director Program for Golf Tournaments. And I uh, thank you for watching, and God bless, guys.